Okay, so uh, next presentation. So we actually have two presentations by the same group, I believe, right? So the first one would be uh, titled Math-Based Coding Education in Korean School. And it will be delivered by, is it Han Hok Cho? Oh, Jin Han Jo, okay. Hello, uh, it's my honor to give our presentation to you. Uh, our title is Math-Based Coding Education in Korean Schools. I'm Jin Hwan Jung in Seoul National University, and this research is conducted by Professor Han Yok Cho and Jin Hwan Jung, Jong Jin Kim, Yong Yeon Seo, and Seung Joo Lee. We designed coding education curriculum like this. Uh, we divide coding education to simply symbolic coding and physical coding. Uh, when students in primary school, they learn Scratch and Java 3D for 3D cube stack and experience 3D printer. After experience in 3D printer will be topic in middle school. Jabamar for pattern generalization, and they experience total robot and like so on. This is one project in middle school conducted by stu students. Sorry.
this. Okay, start. <laughs> this is project conducted in, conducted in middle school. Hmm. No sound. <laughs> well, it's okay. First, they designed the lower body. And printing with a 3D printer. And they make operating code. This is conducted by mobile phone, smartphone. Then, why we saw that this curriculum in Korean school? Uh, now, there are many changes in technology and industries and education. So, 21th century, Korean education has changed too. Korean Ministry of Education has suggested smart education, self-directed, motivated, adapted, research enriched, technology skills. And this impact on three, three policies software education, pre semester system, and character education. First, software education has slogan, fostering creative people acted with problem solving skills to realize creative idea and software. Its main competency is computational thinking. And second, pre semester system. It's like transition year in Ireland and gap year. They select programs related to job, and it has slogan, realize a happy education that fostering students' dreams and talents. Its main competency is career. And final, character education. It has slogan, making a happy society that fostering students' dreams and talent through communication and respect. Communication. But, however, they have problems. First, software education. Software education originally scheduled, scheduled for 2015, but the introdu introduction of so software education has been postponed to 2018. There are expect external factors the insufficient number of software-related teachers and equipment. But the more serious factor is inner factor. The insufficient establishment of specific direction and contents. What to teach and what they will learn. And pre semester and character education has a problem too. Consist mainly of fragmentary education to failing to present a continuous process and are insufficiently linked to the curriculum. So, we developed constructionism-based coding education. Like this. Our goal is this. Improvement, improvement of mathematics-related competency thinking competency. The goal must be linked to the acquire not only a not only simple programming skills, 
but also problem solving strategies. And curriculum related career activities and group project centered exploration in the context of career and character education. The problem of insufficient content will be resolved and the ambitious direction will be concentrated. And we also develop principles. First, learners' computer thinking competencies are, not be, uh, are to be strengthened through problem solving in the curriculum through coding. And second, career education and character education are be driven by assigning to learners the role of individuals in society. Then, where they learn? The media is very important in constructionism. Uh, first, micro world. Pepper say like that. He use Maslin metaphor. So, micro world is like this. Total robot and logo language and scratch and snap, like so on. It has lower floor to enter and explore many things. And we also develop representation. Uh, if we have another Arabic number system, we must write three to seven like CCC, XXX, VII. Oh. Arabic, Arabic numeral system implies in broad fields, mathematics, science, technology, and others. Uh, we have interested in, we interested in 3D. So we have a question. Can you explain it to your light side person? It's not easy. <laughs> Left side, okay. So we need a geometric representa representation. We provide this representation to learners. S means front, step. T, turn back means back, and L, R, U, D are all the direction. Uh, then we can represent it as SLU. Okay? Uh, then we give students Java Mar. Construction is mean constructivism plus tool. It has slogan learning by making, learning by design. Then uh, in two dimensional world, it needs only two commands. Move and turn. But we are interested in three dimensional world. So we developed this. First, mobile version. One step like this. And this is two step. And it can make more richer artifacts. And we also have PC 3, 3D version, and this is artifacts of this. And we can see not only product, but also process. And we can print it in 3D printer. Uh, then we will show you uh, a real apply of this curriculum 
in middle school. The main competency is pattern, general, pattern generalization with computational thinking. It starts with this. Activities with 3D cube stack and experience related to 3D printer at primary school. At primary schools, they make very simple artifacts. But after printing with 3D printer, linked to making constructs richer and more elaborate at middle schools. So, it leading to the exploration of pattern generalization, including substitution process with variables. The exploration of pattern generalization naturally occurs during design activities. This is one of the artifacts made by, made by students. First, substitution. Uh, if students make it by just simple representation, simple code, it may take many times. So, oh, why this? Students come to feel the need for substitution so as to represent, represent, represent repeated object, objects. The process of, of establishing repeated parts as something like the Lego bricks. Expressing them automatically is one that well shown abstraction and automation with a key to CT, computational thinking. This is Lego brick metaphor. If we make this just simple code, then it will be SSSU, SSSU, SSSU. But we make one brick, one brick. One brick. Then we can make this by three, three X. This is mental tool. Possible repetitive object as a pattern and express it as a single symbol. Moreover, variable also a mental tool related to sequence. Like this. And it is important to make assessment to apply it in school. Competence thinking competence in the coding curriculum of middle schools were classified into the levels of usual skills and fluent in, the, in those skills. Assessment is used to check and to provide feedback on learners' achievement of educational goal. The coding environment proposes students to be positioned in the development possibility area. For example, when they are at primary school, they can use basic code. They can use only basic code. Then they are in here. But after 3D printing, they, are, they want more, uh, they want richer, artifact. So they made many things. Then they are in development possibility area. After that, they learn more things. They want more things to represent, represent their artifact. In the area, students become an expert if they experience difficulty in coding. This is one of the examples. He made straw pipe coding, straw pipe. He positioned in the level two development possibility area. He said like that. Because I used many blocks, it was impossible to draw without substitution. So I substituted two parts and used them a lot. I substitute A and B and shortened the command considerably. A means the pipe, and B means the end of it. 
A B twelve A sixteen A twelve A twenty four twenty four A. So also I would have been able to shorten them even more if I'd use function expressions. Function expressions mean n equal m plus one like that growing pattern. So when he list when he learned the expression, he can shorten them, shorten this command. Uh, this also influences in character and career education. As shown by change to the manufacturing industry stemming from 3D printer and the development of Internet of Things, coding is closely related to the field of occupation. Pattern generalization, education, and middle school goes beyond the symbolic coding and including a series of physical coding experience, including robot design, activating, activation, command coding, and driving experience through brainwave. Brainwave will be seen soon. And with the possibility of individuals to communicate with the world thanks to the development of internet and social media, correct, con correct communication competencies are being mentioned as a key goal of character education. Since competence thinking edu education enhances not only the individual competence thinking competencies, but also social communication competencies, activities naturally performed in the course of implementing coding projects, such as clicking on the like button, posting remarking to others' works, and constructing others' work with great station and their source play a very important role in character education as well. This is one of the examples. We developed smart coding environment. One student questioning, other students answer, answer and students one realize it. Closing. Uh, the main purpose of Korean coding education is computational thinking. Thus, we have designed a Korean coding education program to focus on the meaningful connectivity between symbolic coding, exploration, and the physical coding experience. The physical experience with easy total robot and middle school in turn become a topic of coding exploration at high school. Python that starts with total modules is linked to the exploration at primary and middle schools. And Coding is closely related to the world of occupations, and communication skills and the mutual understanding have been mentioned as key goal of character education. Each total about related to students' one's brainwave can be used as learning tools for coding, occupation, and character education. Like this. And this is another Ubi. It will be given to students. No sound. Uh, based on learning by making constructionism slogan, we have designed a math-based coding education program related to 3D printer and dot robot, not only for better coding education, but also for occupation and character education in Korea. Thank you.
I, I actually have a, have a question, and maybe the answer is in the next talk. Um, so if it's, if it's not appropriate now, let me know. But um, I really like the idea of, of the 3D uh, logo and the language that is designed for it, because when I work with 3D uh, with my students, the, one of the most challenging thing is in designing the object. Right? So if you want to, let's say, print a car or a model of a house or do a case for some um, um, invention, and the overhead of learning how to model that 3D is high, and sometimes not you know, everyone wants to do it. So what you've done makes it an interesting thing because it's, it's, it's like using logo to draw pictures. Um, and I can imagine how uh, more engaging that can be. Uh, but my question is, um, how, how far does it, s how, how well does it scale? Because you're using like single characters to represent the direction of where it should go. So I imagine that you know, if you're gonna draw the uh, space shuttle like that you have in your slide, it's gonna involve a lot of, it's a long string of characters. And I wonder how comprehensible or understandable that code is to students. Uh, does it? So this is the introductory stu study, but we found that many, in fact, we uh, test this one for, the, for gifted education students first. Then they are very successful. And now then we want to uh, spread out this one to the more general student. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's our problem. What your question is, that's our problem. Because mm -hmm. students must write down many symbols to make something interesting thing. But, so, but I, there may be some other, I mean, kind of uh, cathedral, total cathedral. They're very simple. And so, our goal is to find out there is a mathematical pattern. Using mathematical pattern, then how to construct a kind of reasonable, interesting thing. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. cathedral and some uh, mathematical pattern. Okay. Yeah, I think I think that's that's. Pro I think logo would suffer the same kind of thing because if you use logo to write something that has a very specific pattern, like a flower, right? You just write one piece of code and then tell it to repeat and it, it does the, the picture. So I think if you can do that with 3D, I don't know, maybe make like a spiral or something, you know, that looks good and students want, um, I think you won't run into too much trouble because then your code is very short, but then you tell it to repeat itself in different ways. Um, but I think with 3D, especially if you're hoping to um, use 3D printing as, as an integral part, there's a challenge there because I think a lot of kids would want, oh, I want a car, oh, I want a, I want a tree, I want a castle, I want a case for my iPhone. Uh, and I don't think there's a clear pattern there because it's very complex, right? To make an iPhone case, it's like, you know, you have to be very precise. So um, it's an area of study. Okay, well, thank you.